podcast with you. So I'm doing a virtual lesson today. It's on monologues. We're going to talk a bit, a little bit about how to perform a monologue and um, what is a monologue. And then at the end, there is a small task for you to do and send some work back to me. So first of all, what is a monologue? Well, a monologue is a long piece of text that is performed by an actor. It can be in a film, a play, it can be on the radio, or it can be part of a theatrical piece. Um, a monologue is different to a speech. A speech is performed to a mass audience, whereas a monologue is directed specifically at one person. And monologues are for characters to express their thoughts and emotions through monologues and the uses of monologues to deliver these to the audience and also to other characters. They can be used to share feelings, anxieties, thoughts, anything really that might be going on inside the character's mind that they might not be able to say through a text straight to the person. Um, it's also about, you know, expressing maybe miscommunication so that the whole audience and other characters are clear on what that character is feeling. So how to perform a monologue? Well, first of all, say it as though the thoughts are coming to you. Don't just say it all at once because you will lose the thought process. Like it says here, you have emotion. You don't just go blah, 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 and it all comes out at once. You think about what you're going to say and you need to do this with a monologue. Even though it's written in front of you, you need to add in your emotion and where you pause and where you start back up again. Monologue should only be really two to three minutes long. It's really boring kind of listening to someone drone on for 15 minutes. So it's better to keep monologues short, sweet and to the point. Also, break down the monologue. Where does the thought change? Where does the emotion change? Do they have a thought change throughout it? And make sure that these are visible to the audience. You can't have inner thought changes because the audience won't realise when these are happening and it could be vital to the play. Also, it's directed at a specific person. So make sure that you are aiming it at a person and who you're aiming it at. The person doesn't have to be in the room with you for you to be able to perform this monologue. It can just be to empty space. But remember, it helps to direct it at a specific person because it helps get that emotion across. So what I want you to do, I want you to write. If you write one, I want you to make it about lockdown, maybe what you've been going through, what you've seen. Or you can find a monologue from a film, a play, a piece of text, I don't mind that is suitable and I want you to explore it. I want you to think about the emotion, think about the thought process, think about all the things that are going on in this specific moment in the play. And then what I want you to do is I want you to learn it, remember it so that you don't have to have it in front of you. And then when you feel confident and comfortable, maybe film it, send it to me or Miss Marinos and we can have a look, maybe choose what ones we think are amazing. And then we can share these out. And if they're lovely enough and about lockdown, that would be something really nice to put on our social media. So I really hope you will give it a go. Send me some of your work and we will see you all soon. Thank you.